The fifth day of the government shutdown brought cuts to nearly all employees overseeing the federal food stamp program. Amber Smith takes a look at the impact this bitter budget battle could have on the fifth of Louisianians who depend on Uncle Sam for their family meals. Five days into the government shutdown, a mere 5% of employees remain at the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the department that oversees SNAP, Child Nutrition, and WIC programs. A lot of people are one paycheck away from being in the situation of needing food assistance. And, and it's really a challenge for us to get people to realize how broad an issue it is. On Wednesday, the department tweeted, during the lapse in government funding, we will maintain many of our services for as long as we can using existing resources. So how long will that be? SNAP benefits will remain available through January, and child nutrition programs will continue into February. But the future of other programs, like WIC, remains unclear. In the event of program funding running out, states will turn to local resources like the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank. They're a very integral part of that safety net for people to make sure that they have food. Uh, we're one piece, they're a much larger piece. And it, it's important for us to see that they're continuing because it, all it will do is increase the, the amount of support required of us to try to help in that interim. With the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank already in low supply due to recent natural disasters across the country, President and CEO Mike Manning says nutrition assistance program cuts would create a daunting challenge for the agency. But he remains hopeful that a deal will come before it resorts to that. It's, it's a concern, but somehow these, seems, these things always seem to work out. They always get shaked out, shaken out at the end of the, the story. So uh, we're just hopeful that we can get there sooner rather than later. For your local election headquarters, I'm Amber Smith.